Lumigetti public market folks time for breakfast I want to get puto and chocolate hi uh, and I think it's called sikwate but no one seems to know that term mind you I've only asked two people but I just asked that guy back there and he said oh you can go to McDonald's talk about taking the romance out of my vlogs Oh well, let's dive in. So far, fruit and veggies, lots of flowers. Very fresh smelling. Wow, it's a labyrinth. It's amazing. Let's go down here. Morning. Morning. Nice. So that looks like the meat section across there. Where do I get my puto and chocolate? No one wants to be on camera. They're all shy in the city of gentle people. But I've just been told that the puto and chocolate is served here. Somewhere. What's bod bod? Bod bod is sticky rice. <laughs> it's just sticky rice. Yeah, just sticky rice with chocolate. Bod bod is sticky rice with chocolate. Yes, sir. Where can I get the chocolate drink? Here. Oh, you do the chocolate drink here? Yeah. Well, I might as well have it here. You want to eat? Yeah, okay. Can I sit here? Yes, sir. Thanks. You can sit here. I'll sit inside. I might sit here. All right, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get, but I'm looking forward to it. So that's it. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. So I'm opening up the good, good. Oh, there you are. So it's sticky rice and chocolate. It's a breakfast food. And it's not too sweet. It's very nice. It's a nice texture. It's very sticky. So that's the wrapper. Whoa, that's hot. And, and very chocolatey, unsurprisingly. And all of this, the drink and the two good goods, is 25 pesos. So, th this is what's inside. The snake. Oh. That was really good. This is Put Put Carbon. And apparently, no sticky rice, no chocolate, it's just cooked sesame seeds. And I have no idea what I'm going to find inside here. So this is only cooked sesame seeds, nothing else. No sugar? A little bit of sugar. Cooked sesame seeds with a bit of sugar. Well, it hasn't quite got the consist consistency of the sticky rice. It's nice. But I can't, I can't really taste the sesame seeds. 
And this one, this big one, this is good good wood with, with mango beans. And this is a big one. I don't know how much this costs. It's heavy. <laughs> it almost it looks like ube. Oh wow. So I've got a bit of a the mango beans in the middle. This is, sorry, can I ask you another question, please? This this one is the the bud bud with manga. Oh. <clears throat> What's inside? So it's got the, oh, the mango uh, beans. Oh, this is ube. Yeah. It's a different one. It's she different gave me a different one. one. I thought it was ube. Sorry, I thought that that is how the uh, manga. The There's no way I can eat any more. Have a look at the size of this thing. This chocolate's really thick and creamy, <coughs> creamy and really nice. So this big fat one, the ube, is 35 pesos, and this alone would be enough for breakfast. And the sesame seed. One uh, with a little bit of sugar was 35 pesos as well. What's your name? Zell. Razel. Razel. Razel's hiding behind somewhere. Uh, this is your stall. You're a helper. Do you, can you come and sit next to me? We're going to interview the very interesting. Razel. I'm gonna try and get my fat head out of the screen. So, how long have you worked here? Uh, almost two years. Right. Uh, and what's your busiest day? Saturday, Sunday? Saturday and Sunday, sir. And are you busy mainly for breakfast? Uh, 4 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m. Oh, wow, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. is the busy time. Yeah, busy. Not so busy Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. But the weekends, yeah. crazy. Busy. Oh, I can't eat anymore. You can take it out too. Yeah. Oh, that was lovely. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank you for letting me interview you. <laughs> I'm going to take it out. Zell is going to wrap it for me. Just over here, you can wash your hands, which is pretty good. Using, the expert. using detergent soap. Detergent soap because it's so sticky. Okay, how much do I owe you? 95 pesos, sir. 95 pesos. All right, so this is the stall. Not much to distinguish it, but that's the main road up there. That's about 100 meters down. It's stall number 18, and it's Teresa. That's the name of the stall. So you come here, ask for Zell, and then you can have all of these delicious things for breakfast. So I'm just asking Zell some questions. So if you're a tourist and you came to Dumaguete and you wanted to have something special, what would it be? Um, I will ask the, the like you, I will ask if, if you like sweets and you can go to San Sribal also and if you like a native food, you can go to uh, like this, a market. And I, will, uh, uh, I will introduce to you the in the building tree like what you like yeah. Yeah, the halang halang and also you have you want uh, like this you can also this what what about something like chicken halang halang is there something another food like halang spicy food something spicy spicy food um <laughs> pork stew like uh, blood blood uh, pig blood cook or oh, uh, yeah yeah, dinuguan. You got, it's also um, spicy. A spicy dinuguan. Yes. Spicy dinuguan. And that's Filipino chocolate. 
All right, thank you. So I haven't walked far. This is building number three. And Zell said to go in there and see if I can find a chicken halang halang. Oh, the barber shop. Crazy haircuts going on in there. I can't see any food. Right. Where, where can I get a chicken halang halang? Chicken halang halang. In building three? I know, chicken halang. Yeah. yeah, inside. Thank you. Thank you. All right, go up, turn right. All right, I've turned right. Oh, we've hit the jackpot. Have a look at this sign, it's fantastic. I reckon that's been there since the 1950s. It looks great. Let's keep walking a bit. So there's a lot of different... Oh, this is great. Oh, they're, they're all Carandarias. All right, I'll go in on foot. I'll go in alone and see if I can find a halang halang and then video it. Okay. Do you have a chicken halang halang? We don't have. But you've got the pork. Only pork, yes. Pork halang halang. Oh, just take picture, that one. Do you know where I can get chicken halang halang? No, poor. We don't have chicken, only poor. But does somebody else have chicken? Yeah, yeah, there. Oh, there. there. Do they? Oh, you can go there. Maybe thank there is. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Come again. I will. Max Rita's Eatery. Oh, good Hi. morning. Good morning. Can I have a chicken halang halang, please? Oh, with rice? Yeah, there. Can I dine in? also a chicken curry. I want to have something that's made. Right. Dumaguete. Mm -hmm. Dumaguete fruit. Yeah. Halang halang. This one. Oh, that one. Oh, chicken. Halang halang. Halang halang. Is it nice and, and spicy? Uh, yeah. You, you just put chili so that it's oh, you can very more. spicy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there is also a beautiful express. Uh huh. Right. No, but I'll go the halang halang because oh. I want to be a duma, Let. a duma person like you. Alright. Chicken, halang halang. Yep. Hi. Hello. Hello. One pasayan. Where can I sit? What? Sit. So, yeah, there. You select. Oh, okay. Dine in. Yeah, I want to dine in, please. Oh. All right. You can sit here. Okay. I'm going to die. Ah, the what is up or not? Oh, it's a very small Carandaria. Yeah, very small. Very exclusive, I should say. Huh? Exclusive. Oh, yeah. If you want some more sauce of that, I will give you again. Oh, I think this looks pretty good. Huh? Is it nice and spicy? Yeah, yeah. Did you put chili? No. I will put this one, uh, so another sauce, and this, that's the one you press the chili. Oh, okay, right. Oh. Okay. So the chili's in there. Yeah, I pressed already the chili. Oh, you've pressed, sorry, can you say that again? Hi, hello. And what did you friend. do? You... Uh, yeah, yeah, the sauce of the chicken, halang halang, I will put chili. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Oh, one more thing, what's the name of your carandaria? Max Rita's. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So this is the spicy sauce. 
It's got all the crushed up chilies in it. So I've heard a lot of people, oh that's quite spicy. A lot of people say it's like a chicken tonola. And it is a bit. Yeah, it's reasonably spicy. These are the little, what are these chilies called? Labuya? Yeah, Labuya, yeah. Labuya. Little Labuya chilies. Oh, spicy little things. Wow! <laughs> like a bird's eye chili. The leaves of the chili. The leaves of the chili too. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what one. these are. Yeah. All right, okay. So these are leaves. Chili leaves. Whoa. So she was telling me these are the chili leaves. I think my camera's breaking down. Australia in Darwin. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's, that's Rita. And Rita's telling me, uh oh, my camera's playing up. Well, my GoPro's just broken down. <laughs> um, but I was talking to Rita, and she was saying that the difference between the halang halang and the chicken tanola is that the halang halang is made with the chili leaves and with the labua chili, and also with coconut milk. So that's the difference. place is getting packed. I'll have one more mouthful mm -hmm. and I'll see what I'll try to find out what's wrong with my GoPro. Can't even turn it on.